When evaluating draft prospects as receivers, I typically shy away from guys that were really productive in college because, as we've seen, that doesn't always necessarily translate. The first guy that immediately pops in my head is Corey Coleman, who had ridiculous production in college. D.D. Westbrook's another guy who comes to mind that didn't exactly work out in the NFL. But that is not the case for what we're talking about here with Malik Neighbors. At six foot, 200 pounds, this is the prototype for what a lot of NFL offensive coordinators look for in the sense that they want ridiculous speed, explosiveness, but most importantly, to be yak killers, guys that after the catch are going to pick up 10, 15, 20 more yards because they're shifty, they're explosive, they're sudden. They're able to find new lanes in order to kill and attack defenses after they've caught the football. Malik Neighbors also, though, more importantly, is very consistent at getting open. His route running is ridiculous. It might be the best in this class because of that, again, that suddenness that he's able to show in his cuts. His agility is at the best amongst any of these prospects. And because of it, we often see a lot of open, easy receptions for him and then able to create more yardage for offenses after he catches the football. That is something that's going to be highly coveted in the NFL. I wish he would have ran a 40 because one of the biggest cliches that we talk about in the scouting community is that the minute that somebody runs a fast 40 time, NFL teams fall in love and they're going to overpick a player like that. I would argue that if he ran at the combine, he ran in the low four threes, or maybe, I don't know if he would have ran faster than that. He could have boxed out Marvin Harrison Jr. As a lot of people have said, could be the case that he could be the number one receiver in this class, but we don't have a number unless he decides to run at his pro day. But Malik neighbors though, because of how fast and impactful he is after the catch, a lot of teams are looking for new ways to get their own Jalen Waddle or Tyree kill. Malik neighbors isn't really exactly one of those types of guys, but offensive coordinators want those types of players in order to be able to threaten defenses on a consistent basis. Malik Neighbors is going to be a top 15 pick, top 10 pick, because of how strong he is as a prospect. Let me know what you guys think below. Drop a comment, hit that like button. We'll be back with more.